coupled with the fact that we are honoring our seniors, players and managers, and Chris Paul. Uh, we're disappointed in the fact that we didn't uh, play better. Uh, it's a hard fought game. Both teams uh, played their tails off. Uh, we just needed to play better. Uh, turning the ball over 18 times and, and you know, so many of them were bad turnovers, turnovers that led to points. Uh, obviously, they had, what, 20 points off turnovers and then to get out rebounded by 11. Uh, really is a recipe to get beat. And that's, uh, to be quite frank, that's what happened. Coach, uh, your team uh, showed a lot of character um, coming back when you were down eight in the one point lead. Almost came back uh, when you were down 10. Uh, what are some of the good things that you, you saw today? There were a lot of great things. As I mentioned, this was a hard fought game. Uh, we just needed to play better. Um, you know, we were, we were standing a little bit too much in the first half offensively. You know, we, <laughs> for whatever reason, we were frozen. Um, and then we got moving and going in the second half better. But th this team has great character. We have terrific young men. As I said, we had a great crowd and honoring the seniors and Chris. We're disappointed we didn't play better. but. Um, we have great resolve on this team, um, great heart on this team. Um, you know, it's like the little skirmish at the end there with uh, um, Lynn and uh, Devin. Uh, just clean, hard-fought game. Everybody just playing their hearts out. And uh, we just needed to play better. But really proud of my players and we'll work hard to get better. You had the three of your last four games, you shot 33% or less. You mentioned stacking off against some half court. What are you seeing there on the offense? Well, you know, also too, we got to make shots. Wow. Yeah, I mean, we got to make shots. So, you know, we, uh, we got to the free throw line 25 times. And to be quite frank, we took a couple of quick shots when we were in the double bonus. And, and you know, we need to understand time and score better. Uh, but, you know, I think teams are recognizing players uh, in their strengths and weaknesses and they're laying off certain guys and really pushing up on other guys. And that's where we need to do a better job of, of uh, running through our offense and moving. And the guys that aren't known as perimeter shooters yet, um, they need to be on the move, cutting to the basket. And for some reason, we just we get frozen out there sometimes when the lights are on. We'll keep working on that. From what you saw uh, or what you could see out there, uh, why was it so difficult to stay from Des Wells and, uh, or at least get someone in the lane to keep him from getting the room? Well, you know, Wells got some of his buckets in transition off those bad turnovers that we spoke of. Again, turning the ball over 18 times leading to 20 points, and, and he got some of those in the open court, and he's a handful in the open court. And, you know, when, you, when they've got some really talented three-point shooters like they do, um, you know, you, you really got to guard the ball. Got to guard the ball. That was a big key going into this game is to, to take the personal challenge of guarding the ball. Needed to do that better with him in particular. No, 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 not at all. No, not at all. It was a hard fought game. I just played a little bit better. No, we were just as desperate as them, and I take offense to that, to be quite frank. Next question. Could there have been perhaps too much emotion swirling today, Jeff? We, we, we overshot the rim about three or four feet on the first couple of balls. Yeah. You know, there's, but. That's no excuse. But yeah, there was a lot of emotion coming into this, and but uh, I'm proud of my players. What does this group of seniors mean to you, especially CJ? I've said this many times. CJ Harris defines what we want in a student athlete here at Wake Forest University. Uh, he's a terrific leader, uh, both on and off the court. 
he sees he's defines like i said what we want in a student athlete he's he's known throughout the campus as, as just a genuine uh, gentleman uh, who embraces everybody uh, not only on this campus but throughout this community here in this city um, he is a great leader in terms of his work ethic and how he leads our young players i know that if you ask several freshmen there they just have total respect for him and and they really admire him um, he's going to graduate on time he, he, he's he's involved in the community in so many different ways um, you know i i can't say enough about him i love him yeah he's he's been through a lot of adversity here but he's always been rock solid and just just uh, in terms of he's never wavered his commitment towards his school and towards what is right and that goes along with uh, spencer jennings our walk-on and our senior managers as well i don't think they get enough credit um, because they do so many things behind the scenes and they don't get the fanfare but they too have represented this school in a terrific way and will continue to do so throughout their life. Thanks, guys. Thank you.